Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Of all things, I liked books best. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Great moments are born great opportunities. It's not the love you make. It's the love you give. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. The progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. It is the most important product of his creative brain. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. Intelligent people tend to have less friends than the average person. The smarter you are, the more selective you become. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come and point the way. There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament with ticks inseparable. These ticks cannot be seen, but we can feel them. The day will soon come when I will show the world that the transmission of power and speech without the aid of any wires is possible. Misunderstandings are always caused by the inability of appreciating one another's point of view. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. We are whirling through endless space, with an inconceivable speed, all around everything is spinning, everything is moving, everywhere there is energy. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. We are all one. A man is born to work, to suffer, and to fight. He who doesn't must perish. I strongly believe in the rule of compensation. True awards are always in proportion with work and sacrifices. Peace in the world can only come as a natural consequence of universal illumination. 
The progress and development of man are of immeasurable importance for humanity and are essentially dependent on invention. The most important product of a creative mind is an invention. Its ultimate aim is the rule of mind over nature and the use of its forces for the needs of mankind. The progress of civilization seems like fire, first the spark, then the flame and finally an explosion of fire increasing its speed and power. Science is a personal perversion except if its end goal is the betterment of mankind. Our first strivings are exclusively the instinctive stimulus of lively imagination and non-discipline. Man must exercise temperance and control of his senses and leanings in every way, thus keeping himself young in body and mind. As we grow older, the reason strengthens and we become even more systematic and creative. But these first impulses, unproductive at first sight, are the greatest moments that can strongly shape our destinies. Every effort under duress requires the sacrifice of life energy. I have never paid that price. On the contrary, I let my thoughts flourish. There are three possible solutions to the problem of increase of human energy, nutrition, peace, work. I was amazed at this man, who, without thorough education or scientific experience, did so much. If you don't know how to observe the phenomena of nature, they will give you clear answers and inspiration.